Well, chaps, uh, we're back. We're back here. Uh, it, apparently, the video actually worked. Um, if you're a channel member, then you've seen you've seen the text. Uh, so here's the thing, though. Um, she has genuinely gone ahead and challenged me to conquer the rest of India. She said, you know, she would like to see me do that. So I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> this intersection has never happened in history. No one has ever. Like, look, a lot of girls play Paradox games and EU4. I don't think anyone has ever impressed someone like this in this context. So, we're back to try hard now. Also, quick shout out to everyone in the comments the last video. You, you did me a solid there. <laughs> you very clearly understood the assignment. Uh, so that's fantastic. Uh, also, um, she now watches, uh, well, has seen the last video. So I presume you're watching this one. So, uh, hey. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, this video just became awkward for me. Um, <coughs> okay, right. Anyway, back into the correct headspace of EU4. Okay, now, if you recall last time, we fought a massive war for no reason at all um, against uh, China and also Bahamanis because we wanted to then fight Bahamanis later. So what we're going to do is we're going to recover for the next sort of seven years and we're going to fight them directly now that they don't have the Ming to back them up or uh, indeed uh, Karl Kanyulin. I also want to fight Jampur. I mean to conquer India, lads. That's perfect. I don't think anyone's ever secured the bait by conquering India in EU4, but hey, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Come on, buddy, get in the right headspace. We got this. Dude, I fully try hard at the last game as well. Up until like that last war where I thought it'd be fun to like flex, of course, and, uh, and fight uh, the largest power in India and the largest, uh, obviously, um, fight Ming at the same time, which I thought was fairly impressive. So did she, so, you know, that's good. Um, I've, I've been really quite try hard in this. Okay, people are running into military coalitions against us, which is not ideal. Get rid of the free company, bunch of our troops. Hey, that's, that's what I'm going for here. Okay, I'm gonna re retool my army. Uh, 27, so we need 30, so we need two. Basically, we need to run around with 30k stacks um, and three cannon. And I'll get two of those at the very least, and probably then a mercenary company on top of that. I mean, I could polish off, oh God. I could polish off trade ideas, but I should probably wait for tech. I don't really care about div tech. Get ourselves another good modifier on our side as well to see how that saved because I was going to say another merchant but I forgot what merchants were. I'm, look, I'm nervous lads, like this is, look, because here's the thing, usually I'll just say whatever and it's it's kind of funny, now I've got to be like, now I'm being judged, you know what I mean, like in, in the real world. Because uh, whilst I appreciate you all as a collective, um, it's obviously very hard for me to uh, visualize you all individually, right? So when I know that someone that I know, who I care what they think about me, is watching, it does change the mindset a little bit. So I don't, I don't know about this one. Um, I kind of regret starting this entire thing, but here we are. Changed my shirt like twice before this. Considered wearing a suit. No, I'm not, I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. I haven't, I haven't gone too map game. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not. I've not gone too deep. Okay, so you're in a coalition against me, along with two others, including Kalpi, which is a tiny little state. That's fine. Gujarat, Arissa, Jampur is allied to them. Delhi, ally to Bahamanis. Ah, that's gonna suck the breakthrough. Okay. Well, I think what we're gonna do is try and resurrect our vassal get his cause back we can hit delhi quite easily um unless he's built a fort here yeah he's got a fort here. okay stop building up to force limit gently again i'm really just gonna take this time to properly recover because i have set us up with a really nice base I just really can't mess this up five years we got a war with we have three techs on him i would genuinely recommend uh reading up on um Asami's history though it is really cool because that's where my brain goes when i'm like yeah i want to impress this girl okay i thought that was on me Okay. Yeah, that's where my brain goes. I want to impress this girl. <laughs> Let me read up on the history of the <laughs> part of where she comes from. <laughs> That'll do it. Baffled him in this situation to begin with. Right, let's just let's just not think about that and crack on. Yeah, that concert is really stacking nicely with our national ideas. You, Ali Separatist. Yeah, Ming's basically gone. Um, I'm going to wait for them to get messed up a bit more, wait until they dip below the 100% and then suddenly we've got reconquest on the entirety of China. At the very least, I should probably nip in and grab a province to protect them so they can release Ming. Okay, what's our max manpower? 58,000. Again, I really think the right play is just to relax a little bit. Get the advisors, just exist. Definitely build up some of those really expensive buildings. As in like, they're gonna bring us a lot of money. That's not what expensive means. Fruitful building. So I only have 41% over here. Let's we'll start working on that. All right, we take the next diplotech. Less tolerance, more missionary strength. I don't really need missionary strength. A lot of this area is um, our Hindu we're pushing into, so we should be fine. That leaves the military coalition. we we'll grab a new general whilst my, whilst my army position is at least somewhat high. Uh, by high, I mean 35. Got of our trade. The general died. It was actually a really good one. Okay, cool. Uh, let's have another 20,000 troops turn up. 
some point. Um, I'm tempted to just add another 20k. Of minus 60,000 troops, they have a max of 100,000. Yeah, we need to crush them in this war. We cannot afford them. Let me use I want to go and counter that. They need to be ready. Look at ideas. Got another military idea. And yeah, what stacks nicely with our manpower? Manpower, it's all good. We need our troops to be better. I think just straight quality could be an idea versus offensive. Because offensive realistically gives us siege ability, which is good, obviously, and discipline. But we're at that weird stage where it can't really matter in terms of combat. So that's 5% there. This will give me 5%, plus also a 10% on infantry combat ability because I'm realistically not going to use cavalry. My artillery is not going to be that useful until later on. Stacking morale is always good. Um, you can see how much I'm, I care because I'm genuinely like, really thinking about it. I'm not using cavalry, so I have to out. Offensive is always decent, plus we get that um, force limit modifier. Still three techs ahead. Really got to prep for this. They're at war. It's annoying. Okay, February 14. Okay, let's get that ready. Get this ready. We're gonna Blitzkrieg Delhi. It's actually a really good thing he's declared war on him. I should have declared one to it. I should have done a number of other things. I'm now like triple guessing everything that I've ever done in EU4. Oh, can you see the rest of the world? Okay, the Ottomans are massive. My God. Car community stretched so far as well. Big Russia as well. Spain doing some conquering. Okay, the Papal State expanding. The Ottomans are also in Italy. Okay, that's terrifying. She didn't say conquer the Ottomans. She, she doesn't know about the Ottomans yet. Reconquest. They can call in Arissa. The issue is he might want like he might take stuff. I'm gonna risk it, because that 11k will just, it'll just, it'll just help stop him a little bit. Both capital, barrage, won the war against Vijanagar, which means he's gonna be coming north. We've, we've breached the walls on both. Dehan's done. Yeah, if his troops are elsewhere, here's what we're gonna do. Spread out, hit as many places as possible. It's, it's kind of high risk. I think that should do us nicely. Minus 56, already done. Okay, sweet. Get rid of your lines of Bahmanis. I don't really care about the other stuff. War up, sweet. So now it's just me versus Bahmanis. Actually a brilliant start. Okay, cool thing here. You can't see my troops. They are utterly invisible to him. It means I have one shot to get the drop on him, like here. Okay, let's see the comparison. Uh, same morale, we have better discipline, and obviously our tech is two, three higher. Three higher or two higher? Three higher, okay. Should be able to just go and ravage him a little bit. Okay, we can actually see the extent of Ming now. Uh, are they small enough yet? They're close to being small enough. Uh, they aren't in any other wars. I'm actually small, and so is Japan, and Japan's taken... Um, <laughs> Taiwan. It's a weird game. Yeah, you didn't take the fort, which is good. Okay, and now we're just going to methodically push upwards. They have manpower. Does he have manpower? He does not. I presume he has. Yeah, maybe. I never upgraded my ships, so. And he has 12 heavies around. Come on, it's, it's, it's a... I know it's not Ha. Probably not. Um, I don't speak um, any of the languages, but Hamamet is close up to uh, Hamamet, which is like a close near, near to my uh, hometown. And uh, it's not near to my hometown. It's just a well, well known place in Tunisia. If you've ever been to Tunisia, you've probably got the Hamamet or the capital because it's quite like a scenic location. He still has that three-star general who's upsetting. That should be a stack white, but it's not. Really want to fight with it. Well, 004 in charge for a little while. And my king was my decent general. Actually, no, I've got 4-3. We could just hold him here. Let Arissa do all the work. Actually, that's boring. Very painful. All right, I'll sit on my deity. 433 is now, I will take that. But let's make him a general. He's got four siege. Yes, get your one. Take that out. Go on, go on. That'd be amazing if you actually do. Yo, Arissa. Got a four siege guy in there. That will take there. Like I said, we play this super cautious. Keep everyone close to each other. We don't need to like thrust out. Did against the Ming. There's no rush. We're not fighting Kara Kanuli at the same time. We're just fighting. Assuming a very much two steps forward, one step back approach here. Yeah. Gotta wait for the siege to be done. Should be done now. There's a lot at stake here, Chief. Come on. Game, please. All right, here we go. 35%, 42% game. If I've ever pleased you in any way, do me this side. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. Oh my God, you're the worst. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've actually dropped below the point necessary. 60%, do I have a claim on them? <gasps> yeah, we need to do that immediately after this war. Maybe even during. 42% chance of win that. What's this war for? A Danaki, there you go. Let's go take that. No, leave him alone, leave him alone. No, you had on 42%. I'm not missing a... Yeah, I'm not. Okay, good. Gonna have to develop that soon. Maybe I should start saving on power. Right, let's stay close to each other. No point taking any sort of risk. Not a war with anyone. We still got our claims. What did you lose to? Someone else declare war on you? Here's what we gotta do. Chuck some guys on that fort, and the rest of these guys need to spread out. Because the more land that uh, Jampo takes, the less land that I can. That's kind of risky. Hopefully he's just in the north. Yeah, he is. Can't believe it. Like, I, I propped that guy up. Well, to be fair, he propped me up. Uh, and and, and he, this is how he repays me? Okay, so if we get into the 80s, that'll probably be enough for him to bring to life. Yep. Okay. Um, three company. We're gonna grab three company over here. We're gonna get access through these two. Just gonna hold on to one province and then he can't get fully annexed. We need that main vassal. Probably should have taken um, influence ideas for vassal management. 89%. Maybe we call back to my vassal. Don't I have a core? Yeah, I do. But it's occupied by Jampur. How fun. 
for governing capacity. Not enough to warrant taking. Realistically, he's gonna take all of Northern India. This is the equivalent of like getting a bag of blood and just like stabbing it and chucking it into like a piranha filled lake. Like, these guys are gonna get mental. Okay, there's the 99%. Lost 100,000 troops there. I'll go help out my buddy. There you go. Welcome. Very successful war. This is the next one we have to do. Because for those of you who don't know, the way that coalitions work is that they are separated by culture and religion. So if you, and it's natural for these nations in this time period, if someone, if you are a Catholic um, Italian nation, you're not going to care that obviously the distance notwithstanding, or, you know, we'll go close. You're not going to care that Spain took um, uh, Tunisian Sunni lands. Like, you're just, you're just not as fussed. In the same way that, like, that means that you can dominate this region um, and even truce break uh, all the Confucian nations uh, because usually it's just me and Korea. So we're going to pursue that policy um, and start to switch up our, the different religious groups that we go for. Yeah, taking the emperorship of China is a terrible, terrible idea. First, I'm improving relations with my vassal. You're already happy with me. That's afraid I can't peace out, Ming, not until Ling is a vassal. Dai Viet, really saw opportunity here. You gotta respect that. Oh, Ming unconditional. He's a vassal. Let's put us immediately all with uh, Shun Ming war. Chinese supremacy, but that's fine. It's a defensive war, so we can call him a risk. <laughs> Shun is big, dude. How many troops does he have? A fair amount. Where's his capital? I did not want to fight you this early. Plus, I don't want to take any calls here because like these aren't gonna be the 25% cost because it's not like what does the Chinese hegemony ward do 25 aggressive expansion for all in the Chinese subcontinent that is the same okay so let's let's do it start our conquest of China this is Long Nai, Lin Vassal, Lin Vassal I'm gonna take the hit a little bit Sun Jing coalition against us that's okay oof did not want to fight there Tech 12 how did you get that much tech screw it Marissa help me well the 10,000 troops never goes and miss does it you need to sit carefully. It is show priority, so let's show a bit of priority. Skill three, Inquisitor, 50% cost. Meantime, let's get rid of all the unnecessary. I haven't just attacked him in the mountains. But our troops, well, I mean, they're actually marginally better. They're not, not quite, like, they're not like a massive step up in quality. Do we have that development? We do. Okay, I think I need to develop printing press. Yes, Andra and Orissa. We want to see. Okay. First priority would, yeah, we won one, lost one. I think we're just going to do it, you know. I'll have to do something like that. Might as well watch them here, right? And then we just go and attack Bahamanis. Uh, no, uh, Jumpo. Because they're currently at war, so they'll probably join the coalition immediately afterwards. If I can get in there early, I should be able to nip in and do some damage. Now it's about stone. Now it's all about... You broke alliance. You broke the alliance with me. I keep on bumping into his troops. It's really annoying. Why are they down there? A decent amount of conquest. Oh, dude. I don't think I have the manpower for this war. I don't think I have the manpower. Okay, this is a province that he came in from, so we physically cannot leave. Good days, then go in the second amount. Pretty close, but we should win that. Pretty ridiculous, really. Enough to give us a more score? No. We need that tech for the governing capacity, and now we'll start saving up our points to develop. This is our best stop pumping points, but where it is show superiority. Like we just basically kidnapped the main emperor. We're just saying he's ours now. To be fair, is that so different from like what everyone else in history does? <laughs> what the Japanese did with the, uh, uh, the Emperor. Or in fact, what the, uh, this is a bit of a niche one, but what the mayors of the palace did in uh, Austrasia and Neustria in France in like the, oh, why do I not know this? Medieval period, uh, before the Battle of Tours, so probably the sort of seventh, eighth century. That's right, I, I know niche historical facts. Why do I keep attacking him in the mountains? Oh, he's attacking me in the mountains. Okay, perfect. That should be enough for taking more score. It's not. I mean, particulars back. Wait, where are the Asimis particulars? Oh, they're over there now. Are you sure, buddy? Hey, bold. Okay, we are getting taken more score now. Fortunately, we're also uh, suffering. It's not in the state to go straight from Bahamanis into this war, fighting the largest. How much more score do we have from battle? 16. So we can get another 24 from that. Should give us damn near 100%, so we don't need to go around sieging. Just need to win a couple. Oh, we can catch a few of them whilst they're straggling. No, that's going to be one battle. Oh, the manpower. I do want a border with Ming. I don't want this for the pretty border. For that, I'm going to need to conquer up Beijing. They'll need at least Datong, which is a mountain fort. Oh, Ming's actually sieging it down himself. What's the coalition map on that? Actually, nothing. Perfect. Taking war school should do it. In fact, I'm going to start sending my boys home. Do you reckon that they, these 13k can, can deal with that a lot? Well, doesn't matter now. 99%. Ming is a little bit bigger. Attrition spread, yes, please. We have a load more points to drop. Because we're expanding with vassals, you don't need to worry about them. Now let's just bring our country a little bit more under control. Leaving the military coalition, that should for us later. Should we come to this point? You're leaving the coalition against me, which is nice. Go send the free company there. You must have been, must have been uh, killed by the Lampari guys. Okay, and now we sit on our laurels a little bit. Not too much, because I don't want to get stronger. Die via really expanding here. It's actually good for us, because it's a different uh, faith group. Right, just to show you, Ming has a lot of cores. Not down the center, unfortunately. I've been told to revoke. But we can definitely take some land here. They're the only people in the coalition against. Probably a good idea to hit them. That we're going to need to recover our manpower, giving up a 35% cheaper <laughs> advisor for a simple relationship. I'm set for this. Surprise, you guys are rising up. It's been a while since I took out you. Divey, it wouldn't come by negative seven. Aitaya would, though. That gets Aitaya out of the coalition against me. Yeah, I know what I said about manpower. Oh, I can go straight to his capital. 
Perfect, let's go do that. Paul and Arissa, who are basically a quasi vassal at this point. I think if you have a, a certain amount of, um, of an increase, why would I not take two of the vassal? Anyway, if you have a certain amount of increase over someone else and you have 100 opinion, 100 favors, 100 like everything, then you should start to be able to, you know, give them a little side eye. I think maybe, hey, yo, me and you would be a big, great team. There we go. There's printing press. Uh, and we can do institution spread here. Institution spread here, and institution spread here, and start getting pretty press. Andrew's having all sorts of issues. Some of Hess is the emperor. Oh god, there's no Austria! <laughs> Dude, I should know CB Austria. Guaranteed by Venice. Oh my god, that is horrific. What happened to you? Tyrol's so much bigger. Burgundy's still a thing. Even the Spanish have the low countries. Oh, this is a weird Europe. Funny cake coming our way. Yeah, look at that. That's instinct. Definitely would have uh, <laughs> done a cheeky restart if I lost that. Uh, <laughs> if they'd marched in on me. Yeah, you sat with that, you tire. Kind of don't want to, though. Probably should. I mean, uh, Chopin leaves the coalition. You know what? Let's recover our troops. We don't need to get our allies and vassals. Says marching to the mountains. To attack and look at well we just murdered a bunch of troops as i was trying to leave in my defense i was definitely trying to leave the deaths are not on my hands there's a coalition against me what other places do you have calls on just those three one over here only gonna go reconquest i've yet focusing on besieging someone's land oh my god they took it back they, like, they literally took everything back <laughs> see these guys aren't at war with each other so we're in a weird like little situation they can't fight each other they can only haggle over who's controlling which areas you know what I'm saying? let's just do it just do it just do it you know what I'm saying? just do it need i remind you what's on the line here but <laughs> I will uninstall you if I have to. Where are you going? That's a fight. Okay. Not losing duckers right now. I'm going to take the rest of it. Larissa. Chaps, come on, win. The siege has been taking a while. I color me suspicious. We got these three come over here. I'm just putting guys around the place because I want to make sure that I'm surprised by anything. How many troops do you have left? 30,000 still. Everyone's probably caught up in tech and it's 12, 11. Yeah. You need to take Dali itself. Uh, Arissa, could you mind doing that? Fine, I'm doing it myself. Where are you going? There's being stuff. A thousand ducats would be useful. Yeah. And we'll spend our aggressive expansion wisely in future. Give us enough money. Brace that. Now we start getting to the point where cannons actually matter. Pain or Russia? What a fantastic choice. Tell us Chuck is the number two great power because we've, we've taken pretty price before everyone else in the world. Good the Europeans. Andrew from Ming. Sounds good. And now we rest in the cover a little bit. He doesn't have any allies. Just good business. First loan I've taken in a while. He's still got two heavies, bro. You have better things. You have two problems minor. I don't know. Give it to your people. Why are you spending money on heavies? Coalition again. Why not make your own friend? All right, so I'm going to be taking Jampori stuff myself. Now we're getting our vast car. Arissa. Okay, here's what I'll do because I, I actually. I'm, I'm feeling things for Arissa lads, I'm not gonna lie. They've been with me since the start, I don't want to just betray them. Favors, break alliance. I only do one. Break their alliance with, uh, again, like, yeah. It takes like five months for me to, to well, no, 20 months for me to get enough favors to call them to war. Oh, we're gonna do it once every 10 years? Fine, I'll wait. I'm still coming for that. I swear I'm, I'm declaring war on Jumper at some point. <laughs> Go for a bit of a different tactic this time. I'm gonna wipe out the troops first. Pretty sure I can get to most areas in this country. Ah, no, right, we're gonna have to take it slow again. We've been making some great progress, though. We own most of the East Coast, including a from my little empire. Decent chunks of China. We personally haven't grown <laughs> this entire time. I'm gonna go after Jamper. I've been saying that since the start. I really, really will at some point. Quick one coming by how much? I think 135. I'm gonna hired 15,000 troops. I'm just gonna kill these separatists, like these, these, these uh, whatever they are. I don't know what they're called. There you go. Pretender rebels. That's an irritating lot of them. Impossible to deal with. We just aren't helping each other today, huh? I like parliament parliamentarianism. It gives you occasional bonuses. Gain a stability. With that. Corruption. Awesome. Plus each, um, okay. The absolute meta is to have each province gain a, um, a seat in parliament. Look, production, efficiency, tax modifier, that sort of thing. I'll assign them automatically soon. Going to position 16,000 men in between. I'm going to leave you guys to die because you didn't help me. Help from remember me? You could have. I mean, okay, this is just pointless on my, on my part now. Don't get men killed. Ah, oh, nice one, both at the same time. Sweet. In general here. Game did me a solid there. They didn't instantly win. Siege. I've lost Siege of Kashmir, which is very irritating. Please take away that. Thank you for leaving the coalition. You're annoying up there. I can't send, like, enough troops to deal with you. I'll leave myself. Okay, screw it. We're actually going to send troops up. Go on then. Okay. What? I just killed my, my... I've never seen that before, before at all. It's really, really cool. Upsetting. Just stack up over here. Make sure we're not going to get taken out. Russia's announced me as their rival. Pretty sure the Ottomans' rival is Russia? Nope, Spain. But hey. But hey. That's right. Ah, oh, the Ottomans, lads. You know what's at stake here. A bit sad we lost our four huge guy. There we go. Look at that. Coordination between three AI... No, I'm not an AI. Two AI and a player. My width is actually really important. What about first? Uh, inputs ideas. Also gives us national tax plus 10%. Not much, but a lot of our money does come from back. Not bad. Well, another five ducks in bed and one jumper. Yeah, it's jumper to claim one of my minus. My bad. Where are your cores? Up to that 
place there. Where should we take all of them? No, stay. Almost messed that up. All of these provinces. And don't think for a second that the AI won't figure that out. Come straight after me. That worked pretty nice. Uh, minus 90. We need to take that fort first. That one might help. That should give us enough war score. Yeah, there we go, Andra. Nice one. Back Kashmir. Good, because there's a lot of our, like, industrial heartlands. <laughs> okay, there we go. That'll do it. A hold over the Indian subcontinent grows. Oldenburg. <laughs> Is the Holy Roman Emperor. 30,000 troops. I think, you know, and then part of me wants to just Gujarat and they outnumber us. Yeah, I need to, I need to just just wait too long. Screwed over by the AI boxing me in. Same time, 30,000 troop deficit is not so. Those answers me as their new rival. Ottomans were naturalized. Why don't you see this? Being a little bit angsty, but that's because they have a lot of development. Uh, I may annex Andra. Cool thing is, um, and the parliament estate, and this is the interesting thing about the Indian uh, nations in this game, is because the Parliamentarian, uh, like, government reform uh, adds or takes away the nobility estate, right? But the thing is that if you're Indian, a lot of the nobility estate stuff is shared. Uh, so that's great for me because it means I can get rid of the nobility estate, have all the advantages of parliamentarianism, uh, like, you know, stability and war exhaustion, uh, increase, uh, decrease, and also recovery speed, whilst also being able to do things like subject rights and integration parliamentary reputation guy right there. Keep bumping up this stuff. Any a dominant market share of this trade node? or on money comes from all. Once we secure the Coromandel trade node for ourselves, Diplomatic Reputation Skill 3. Yes, please. Yeah, I can't. I'm on the border, lads. They've got a lot of allies. That's a... Ah, I can't get across the... because of the navy. That's a... Who do I could get to? Fancy give me access? Oh, you would. Cool. I never built a navy. That Diplomatic Reputation Plus 1's actually going to really handle leader. Oh, yes. Kashmir, that's fine. Kashmir is just such a nothing for it. Just, it just never, like... I was able to hold four guys. Let's back actually march down here. Let's put them for a while. I don't want to get another master recon. Just get them over there. Just get them to defend. Watch the generals a bit now. I should be able to get to the Uzbek capital. Yarkan, kind are of you a vassal of Uzbek? Kiki Sods. Whoa! Gudrat's suddenly a bit bigger of a deal, and that's a poor fight for me to take. Unless my vassals come to my help. <laughs> All my troops just dominate. There we go. That should be enough to get them out. I like the Timurids. We and capital. That kicks out about 60,000 troops. We should have uh, clearly America's priority. Mm. Okay, uh, I need to make sure I get my troops not exiled. Am I focused, I think? Haven't expanded myself in a while. Well, he's gonna mess around down south. I'm actually gonna spread out a little bit up here. It's a terrible idea. Why did I do that? Just stand on his capital. That's a better idea. They're technically losing this war. He has sieged a lot more than we have. Because once we get uh, Uzbek out, that also gets Yarkand out. Okay, he actually, he's pushing on to Sam. Please win that. Ugh, ugh, ah, don't win. No, okay. Right, he's actually pushing really far. Yeah, we're going to go straight to Sam, defend our capital. Don't win that, don't win that, don't win that. She's not going to be impressed. Right? Oh, God, the Jamper just sacked her, kicked the hometown. Ooh, that's not good. That's not going to present well. There we have sieged down the Uzbek capital. So we're going to start some that guys down to uh, Kashmir. Come on, lads. Win a fort, please. Why is he winning forts? Look at that. He's winning them in 89 days. Come on. Game, work with me a little bit. Look, I'm on 7 percent on this one. And I lost it. Do you understand what's at stake here, game? I really don't think you do. We've taken his capital. That didn't count for enough war score. What? Okay. Oh my god, he's won another one in 76 days. How have you, do you have offensive ideas? Yes, but you haven't like started it. God, he's just tearing through my troops. Like, bro, what can I do with that? I'm in power. Damn, it's not going to help me at all. I'm meant to on fire. Bribe, 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 bribe. Kill three, come on. That'd be great, but I can't afford it right now. My lands will be the rest of the piece out. Please, let's start winning some sieges, yeah? 51 days. Meanwhile, mine are done. Probably this bit still on high, considering, you know. I have the capital. What do you want to piece out? Minus nine. Jump in on that. They're probably heading up here to, to attack that lot. Fortunately, I'm assuming Yarkand is disloyal. Go take the wall goal. We have 70,000 troops all in one location. That is very rare. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Come on, win it. Just win it. Where, where is he? Where is he? Where'd he go? Okay, there's 30,000 south. I assume there are some going north. We good? Okay, sweet. Okay, they went east, they went east. Each Casimir is done. Uzbek's on medium. Good luck go down there. And our troops are like a little bit better, I would say. Dude, 75 days. It's actually ridiculous how fast he's doing these sieges. I want to get rid of this kid. He's a 430. Might not be the time for it because I just took a hit on our morale to do that, but I'll take any chances. Siege ability plus 100%. I'm not going to take it. I would take 15 because I plan on taking a lot of territory. Right piece from Uzbek. I can go and ruin this lot. Putty done as well. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. It's 10,000 south. I need you to take a range. Why? <laughs> 50 devastation? I mean, why? <laughs> You're my vassal. You just burnt down a city of mine? I was in that siege. We had more troops than you. You're telling me 70,000 men couldn't stop them? All right, well, there's, there's that. Let's get mercenary combat ability and let's continue to develop. Stupid. I'm not, I'm not having Kashmir fall again. 252. I'm not, I'm not going to get rid of them. 
Let's moly roll play. Actually, no, I don't. Right, I kind of as much as I want pretty borders. I need to take the forts. <laughs> now, so we have a we have a mission. This is not this is not a fun game of a U4. Oh, there's a siege of Dang. Is it Dang or Dog? Dang. Dang. There you go. Oh, I didn't finish these guys off. Uh, could be a stack wipe. There you go. We're approaching the point in which we can actually peace out. Prioritize the forts. So he'll probably build more. Oh, this is gonna be a filthy peace deal. I think we'll do something like that. One more fort should do it. There we go. 93%. Perfect. Oh, the game didn't like that one. It tried to actively resist sending out that peace deal. Hey, restore temples. Nice. Cast loyalty. I'll take 100 admin. Do education. I've actually done this mission tree before. We're losing a lot of money. Fine, I'm spending like 17 ducats a month on uh, on advisors. I don't think I'm going to be getting involved. French allied to the Spanish. And the Ottomans have taken more of Italy. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to pick the ones that don't have metric ton of allies. Like this one, for example. I'm just gonna have to fight all of China at the same time, aren't I? <laughs> it's, it's gonna happen. So Diviet has been completely swallowed. Free company. And I also need to prep for war against Delhi. Just got... Mm, oh, that's annoying. You just got guaranteed by Jampur. Okay, well, I have an idea. And that idea is called... I'm gonna go around to Jampur. And just get them to white piece as quickly as possible. They already won a couple of... Uh, Sieges, because of course they have. At least we can take the tech. Actually, a really, really important one. <laughs> Going after bloody Kashmir. That that fort is just—it's not—it's a non-fort. It really is. I need to just get rid of it. Oh, dude, come on, please. Thank you. Is that enough to piss you out? It is. Excellent. That resets the truce timer. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. All right, the game did me a solid there. I won't lie. Bruce has actually got a larger army now. I'm surprised, considering he hasn't expanded at all since the start of the game, because I constantly call him into wars and don't help him. Well, to be fair, he hasn't called me into any. So, you know, he can't complain. Go to these rebels. Ooh, perfect opportunity to isolate Bahamani. Okay, well, for that, we're actually going to need to fight him. Oh, let's see if we can get away with doing this without taking in the forts. Small enough nations such that I might be able to draw up enough uh, war score through non-fort provinces, but we shall see. Okay, they, yep, they took the fort van. Especially if I kill some of his troops here. Get a real Delhi alliance as well. Give me cash. Wonderful. Thank you very much for your slightly larger of a coalition, including the Timurid Afghanistan. That's fine. Our extension should have timed that perfectly. Conquer Delhi. Morale of armies plus 15%. And this one plus 2.5%. And I get permanent claims. Damn, okay. Here comes the coalition. Uh, all right. Where are you? Reconquest. Need to keep the minds out of the coalition. Like I said, I'm going to start cycling. Look, I don't usually do this. Usually I want to fight the big coalition for fun. And haha, look how fun this is. But nah, today, lads, we play, we play properly. Porcelain modifier, and after this, we'll build up to it. Because now we're at the stage, where it's going to be the next tech, tech 16, this one, where you need to have full back rows. Of so I'll start tearing through the AI, but it also makes war really tedious. Because the AI generally doesn't tend to have a full back row of cannons. I mean, here you can see there's a decent amount of them, but as you can see, from the fact that I just destroyed him, they're not that crucial right now. Are we going to the hole? There you go. Should we stack wipe? It's not. Probably Goa. Oh, God. Now I'm trapped in a loop. It's you, Trandra. Coming in, saving me. Ains of core. Excellent. Get a lot of those events. Or was it on KU something? Mari, was it? Oh, we're cool down there. Nice. I have a Regency. Unfortunate, but we do have ourselves. I'm going to take this myself because it's my core. Turn these cores back off to Vidyanagar. Never been able to pronounce that. Okay, it's just the same lot in the coalition. We've got a debate going. These aren't great. Be careful here because my uh, will start to get upset soon. Oh. 10 years of aggressive expansion. The Ottomans going after Karakanula. Pretty sure they were... Oh, they were guaranteed by the Russians for a while. Surprising that the Spanish and the French are friends, given the fact that there's all of this meh. It says something that my tech is cheaper than my ideas at this point, in terms of uh, Diplo. Go to war against... We've gone after Bahamas once again. It might seem ridiculously aggressive, and, that, and that's because it is. Great decor, that gives us 5% discipline, and aren't great policies. I don't hate the movement speed that comes out of that. It's, uh, it's not a bad one. Casually walking past a fort there. Okay, start getting cannons pretty soon. Was back left the military coalition? You like getting attacked or something? Yep. <laughs> yep. Good reason to leave. Oh, that could be enough. Who are you guaranteed by? Oh, you're guaranteeing Bahmanis has been taken out. To the point where I was considering another vassalization attempt. Yes, 97%. Oh, of course, up here we could take. Oh, he doesn't know. He didn't see me coming. He did not see the fact that he'd only retreat to like two provinces. Oh, that's convenient. The key part is the aggressive expansion should mostly only affect nations in this area and obviously Sunni nations. And the Sunni nations that I care about are the Ottomans, and they are too far away to care about most of this stuff. Pay off the Coalition map mode over here. Some of these guys are starting to get angsty, but for the most part, it's just, I can keep cycling these guys over and over and over again. If I declare war the second the truce is done, that does mean I'm on a permanent state of war. Sometimes kind of tricky to handle. Because if you miss one declaration, it's uh, it's kind of over. I should be making heavier use of mercenaries, to be honest. But I might 
Also, he's on growing. It's now 127,000. Just not using it because I'm constantly at war. We're just getting cores. No, look, I've got a core on his literal capital. Okay, let's rejig this then. Take the cores first. We were leaving the coalition against me. Excellent. Got it done. And now we do the peace deal against Jam. There's a fort here I want to take. Back to it. Now, what I do want to do is give you boost my governing capacity. Which is going to get even worse, even worse when I uh, annex Andra. Well, it depends how you definition of worse, I suppose. Show not being able to do anything in China. Oh, God, you know what, lads? I'm going full sweat. 25% vampire across the board. <laughs> To be fair, around, around Miltech 16 is when you have to start getting a bit. Should have the, yeah, we have the money for it. Drop a couple of advisors because I've got multiple ideas. Increase to 85,000. Lose 11,000 manpower. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was very painful previously. Okay. Now we can upgrade it to an empire. Mean things we have, should mean we have a union of cultures. I'm going to turn all of these into states. You get the benefit from them immediately. You know what I'm going to do with those states? Damn straight. It's time to add. Going past these fine because we upgraded to an empire. They only had 4,000 troops. Oh no, I think these were my 4,000. That was a mistake. Heck, okay. Now we start flirting with Calyx. I think I can only afford one cannon stack, to be honest. Well, I might do half cannon stacks, which is not like meta in any way, shape, or form. I can do much else. I'll do 15 at least. This combat width is 29, so then I can combine them into one big combat stack if I need to. Gain stability in plus 10% discipline for six years. I'm gonna slap them to grab another 12,000. All three stars. Ability. It's a pretty pretty decent nation we've got going on. Uh, but what I want to do is grab free company just to come along with us. Let's send you lot to the camp. Nope. Go the same way. Go the, go the same way. Okay, so you were able to just... What? Okay, for a second there you were able to go past. Anyway. 252 and we're tolerant. Nice. Got ourselves on that very same deity with the siege ability and discipline. 533 air. Yeah, nice. The game seems to understand the assignment. I could turn my troops into super soldiers now by just completing all the uh, missions. I'm sorry. I'm trying to recover as much of my manpower as possible in this war. I don't want like full commit. I'll probably start annexing another one of my vassals. Janagar has fulfilled their use. So good are our troops in comparison to, for example, our tires. They actually have a much higher morale. We'll have 125% discipline. There's the capital. Timber is entering into coalition against me. Anyway, I need to get rid of that alliance with you. Eh? Yeah, I seem to beat him up a little bit more. He's still on high. There's only like two forts left in this country. Is that a stack wipe? Oh no, he ran away. Okay, let's send 30k back to deal with that. More diplomatic reputation to help. Must be on medium at least now. Are you tired? No, no, yeah, they are okay. And they will another alliance with UA. Thank you, a lot of, oh my, that's a lot of money. Okay, now let's focus on sieging him down. Focus on sieging him down versus sieging the Ming down because we're pretty sure he will collapse. Unless he has a, oh, in which case, just, um, you know, commit might even peace out now. I remember we were rushing, trying to take these provinces a while ago. The piss off the Chinese. Maybe we don't set that many people. Okay, right, again, let's just focus on reconquest this time around. Come back for more later. France has permanent claims. Yeah, okay, man. <laughs> Good luck. I really wish I hadn't said that. The, the game's gonna punish me now. Our battles here. All allied to each other. The thing is, if you're a Chinese miner, you shouldn't be able to ally other Chinese miners. That's the whole point, is that you're not meant to be able to ally each other. Let's get this annexation going. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my truce of Gujarat's up. Truce here, this is gonna take a while. Let's attack Kota and uh, reset. Okay. Here's the play. Attack Gujarat, take a bunch of stuff. Then uh, attack Kote, reset the truce timer. Um, beat that Navy. Uh, and oh, I can't get in and beat the Navy. Plus, I kind of want to fight in China, man. Focus I've been for a little bit. Oh, what's going on over here? Are they all fighting each other? Oh, I want to fight in China. I mean, to be fair, the whole point is meant to be conquering. Yeah, the whole point is meant to be conquering India. Let's go for that. A lot of heavies. I just don't want to invest that much in my Navy and I'm just not using it. Dude, I'd really be out of this war if I were you. I think I just made Gujarat strong. Uh, I think I just made Jampa stronger. Make sure I actually take the stuff to give to... You are entering a coalition against... To be fair, that's why I'm doing this. Stop Gujarat from entering into a coalition against me. Look at that carpet siege from Janagar. It's exactly what we want to see. Oh, I'm mildly confused. We only have 33% war score. We've taken every fort. Meanwhile, Jampa is winning despite losing one fort and having taken none. What I'm saying is it's rigged. That's, you know, if you want to know my actual opinions. Like, Wait, is that fort? Oh, it is a fort. Yes, take it. Okay, my bad. Wait for him to take that back. Come on. How are the burgers? All the trade stuff. Uh, make a lot from production, so I'm going to focus on production. I actually took trade ideas as well to make 18 ducats a month at this stage of the game. I don't know, I really thought I'd be expanding across trade lines. I just didn't. That's what good right. Oh, cheers, Jamper. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Of course, it's 166. It's one of the highest in the world. I've just I've been using not that. You're no longer allied to Jampo. Get really nice food right then. <coughs> Which would be because I can switch my trade to this one. It'd be a lot better. we will just go and rinse this army real quick. Bro, okay, or not. You do it then. So, let's go ahead and do that. I can't believe this entire time. I tried against Minus. Lose stability. The issue is the attrition on these troops. It's more cause. Oh, for... It's always Kashmir. It's always Kashmir. The shakiest fort known to man. And my ruler died. Chaps, I thought you could handle this. 
You've yet to take a fort. All oh, right. I really want to take a military idea right now. The planet plus 50%. Absolutely, I do. My God, do I. You still not take it. Lads, <laughs> just take the fort. Well, that's a beast deal. He's cut me off, the cheeky prick. Look at that. There's a stack wipe. Leaving the coalition against us. Cruise up with you. Four years. It's enough time to go and have a brief foray in the chairs. Kudra done. That I can actually stand in places without losing all of my troops. Not killing off my 50% cost guy just for one vote. Okay, mission support. I can do that. No corruption. Like, this is so disproportionate. 19 military power. Two arm pressures. This is just ridiculous. Now, do I have any Bahamanis? These are all Bahamanis scores, aren't they? Interesting, because what I could do. Ah, no, it is. Because I was thinking I could annex and release him to get rid of 100% uh, exactly. Got to do it now instead of in 18 months. <laughs> I just wouldn't be able to do it because of the modifiers. Right. Hello, Bahamanis. Welcome to the team. Oh, I wanted to vacillate. Look at, look at Daviet's uh, cores. Bunch of them. See the game I'm playing now. There we go. I'll be regretting my decision now to do parliamentarianism. I forgot how much of a pain it is to work through. The Shun capital of Vietnam. Nope, Vietnam did not survive it. Daviet is or it's a pretty sure I could take that. I'm gonna check. I've got my other guys coming up and taking the rear. Okay, yeah, we won that. It was not a surefire thing though. Our army's close. Dude, our morale sucks. You'll like me more when I attack Jampur and like Oh, two years. I've got to finish this war in two years. Crack on. I want to get rid of this guy's alliances. Keep the current jumper literally day off. Oh, here's the truce up. My very extended here. Quick reconquest. Jin, don't care about that. Korea, yes. And yes. G, yeah. Well, Tang, those are the main ones. Burn a lot of men to be here. 91 days. His siege ticks are actually ridiculous. No, 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 no. It's only 46,000 men to fight like a hyper risser alive at least. Gorda. All right, let's keep pushing on. Hang Zhao's done. Hang Zhu. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. You always correct me on that specific province as well, and I always forget. Every time I say I'm gonna chill and get my manpower back and build up, I, I don't mean. Where did your cores go? They all disappear as you were, as we were fighting. I can't afford the Chinese to be in coalitions against me as well. Fine, we'll just take these provinces and go. God, hey, yeah, guess what's about to fall, lads? Quick, 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 quick. Kashmir, no. They're so used to surrendering. The troops in Kashmir figure out there's an enemy outside. They just immediately surrender. That siege timer isn't how long it takes for them to surrender. It's how long it takes them to realize there's an enemy outside. At which point, they surrender. 5-3-3 three, three in charge and a 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Oh, not a 0-3-4. We'll have to get rid of that. That. Not even him. That. Time to get the diplomatic reputation guy because whilst the discipline's good, annexing our vassals faster, pretty good as well. Mm, but I'm always a discipline guy. How I was raised. I uh, just realized that error is a 6-6-6. Six, six, six. Uh, game, listen. I know we've had our rough periods, but you've really... When it counted, you came through in clutch, man. I'll always remember you for that. <laughs> our only issue is that Ming is getting a little bit powerful. You want to, like propping them up. What are spending that kind of money on? Is this going to be done? 10 years. Okay. He knows. God, don't know. Don't wake up the garrison. That's a decent knock, isn't it? Uh, no, I want this one. is loyal now. And now I do, do definitely need to rest. You can have an interest Sarissa. Old buddy, old pal. Did say I was going to calm down. But that's that's a simple. Okay, he's got three heavies. All right, fine. I'm building an A. I just need control of this area so I can switch over my uh, trade note to this one. Then get Janagar to switch their naval divert trade. Love to do that. Can't afford well, okay. All right, age of absolutism. I hate this age because usually I've set things up such that I'm never going to get any sort of absolutism at all. Um, not that I really care about it until later on. But what the hell is this? Why is it going to take a thousand or three? Feel cheaper. Sounds good. Do they now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate that I find that funny. Should be able to beat this navy. So the fact that he's retreated his his navy probably means that. Yeah. Got ourselves an admiral. Yeah. To be fair, that that, sort of, that tracks. Right. Across. Oh, now you flood across, huh? Whole point of having you guys is to do my work for me. Really? <laughs> I'll take the next turn. Why not? Turn all these to Yaga, and then I will take the rest of the island. That's irritating. Okay. For some reason that works. I don't know why. Okay. Well. I don't know what I did. Our oh, trade port over to this. Select from here. This way we own 20 ducats. That's right, we did all of that. Made our vassal hate us for roughly the same amount of ducats. I truly am a businessman doing business. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I have to take them out. I don't want to. I really don't want to. Ah, perfect. This might take a cost of minus 15%. That is excellent. These reactionaries. Yeah, okay, sure. Help. Brahmins, mass support, reactionaries, seven farmers. Perfect. Damn it. <laughs> this is if you can't take away any of the uh, same privileges even if I wanted to. I had to. I, I, like, I had to build heavy in the uh, early game. I needed every advantage I could get. Global traders appeared. Lovely. Except for this, I should probably start site. Right, just gotta keep an eye on the Ming. Okay, I think I'm gonna start heading east. A bit heavier. Fight my misgiving. It's time to break the wool. Okay, should be a long war, which is good for me. It means it'll give me time to handle 
uh, the Gangari integration. Can't really put this off anymore as much as I want. Okay, so we're going off the Chi as well. Korea, Tang, Chi, Jin. Well, actually, they have no way of getting to me. So, oh, Korea. Yeah, we're going to start joining coalition. So I'm going to start building more troops. What do you cost? 20. Ming's capital's already full. But yeah, still entering a coalition. I mean, to be fair, I should flesh out my back line more than anything else. But anywhere that Ming has a core, I'm taking. I don't care. Yeah, I'm going to get truces with this lot anyway. It's not going to affect them at all. I can't get there still. Okay. Korea got here. Okay, we generally all got uh, good. This is our loser battle. Don't be kids, governing capacity is just a number. One that I am about to butcher. So I've got morale of always plus 15%. Of them. And the estates have already played into a bunch anyway, so let this sort of keep quiet for a little bit. I just want him to die as quickly as possible. Head off to the Ming. Close to the time of off to the Ming. Korea's here still. Still on here 56%. We're the only nation with any sort of control here 56%. How are people managing to shift it off? I don't get it. What is this? Can I get rid of? Ah, that's why I couldn't get to Korea. I could, but I was just clicking the wrong province. Oh, that's very smart of me. I have it's back. You can still vassalize them. That is a huge Russia. I haven't actually checked out the world in a while. Oh, Russia's on my border. <laughs> I border Russia. Oh, boy. Provided doesn't win that, I should be fine to... Oh, negative one. He's gonna win that, yep. And all my hard work has been undone. Right. And all the alliance with Wu. Okay, so for 15 years I get morale of armies. Minus... Oh, it only affects Rajput regiments. I don't have any of those. Or local autonomy literally everywhere I've ever been. Okay. I don't think I've ever built a Rajput regiment. Can't build Rajput regiments. <laughs> Look, these are Ming separatists. I'm fighting for Ming. No, Bahawan is now the Ming separatists. I'm trying to help them. Fair, province defections might make Ming really disloyal. You gotta remember, I've literally gotten what? Yeah, they're about 572 development. They're one of the largest nations on Earth. They're still loyal. I'll make sure my prestige high so I can constantly be doing that. Ming are always gonna be disloyal from now on. Uh, but that's fine, because I've achieved my aim of taking China. They're so kind of disloyal slash loyal. They haven't really decided yet. There, how much have got? That too long. Nothing. <coughs> However, chaps, I've run out of time. And I think that is where we will leave it for today. I mean, I think we've done well. We're also trying not to fight on the Ottomans. I think we've done very well because, you know, they'd conquer India. And I feel like apart from like little specks around the place, most of India is ours. There's Gujarat for sure, which is a bit tricky. But, you know, we could, we could deal with them. Uh, she also wants me to take China, which is why I was kind of keeping that a secret because uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. <laughs> she was like, yo, I'll wait to I, in fact, I'll probably show the text on the screen. But uh, she was like, yeah, I, uh, I want you to take over uh, India and China. And I feel like we've done, like, pretty much done that. Um, it's just time constraints. Another 30 years and I'd have all of India and all of China. So I'm fairly impressed with myself and I hope <laughs> that translates. <laughs> right. Well, um, I, I, I didn't anticipate making a second video. I didn't anticipate her seeing the video the first time around. So that's interesting that that happened. Um, we'll see. I don't know if you guys enjoy it, if if she enjoys it. Um, I'm actually really enjoying this campaign. Uh, it's fun to sort of take, like I said, take real world uh, not consequences. That's kind of strange. Real world sort of like motivations into evil. Um, definitely a little bit different. Uh, and yeah, I think we'll see what sort of demand she comes up with next. They're decently high on the great power list. Russia, all this land is kind of naff. So it's more. Uh, over here, we see the Ottomans taking swathes of territory in Commonwealth seems to have been no Austrian site. It's a very strange Europe game. In any case, lads, if you did enjoy, please do make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out, and then I can brag about the stats. Uh, so yeah, if you do want to help out, then, then go ahead and do that. Uh, otherwise, I will see you all next time. Bye. Huge shout out to our patrons, most notably Charlie Demorel, Krilly, Flyerton, JDow52, Cargon, Xiaomi, Lewis Wright, Nicole's Christ, QA Shard, Redguard, and Shadow Singer. Your support means a lot, guys. Once you're here, you might as well click on another video. I mean, it's, it's literally right there.